Hi, Kathy here from Kathy's Cute Creations. Today I want to share something with you. I've purchased this for my sister, but before I actually send it to her, I thought that we could review the box and go from there. So, here's what it is. I purchased this here. Let me see if I can get that ring off of there. And it comes with a CD. Now this is all the things it came with. When you open up, you pull your case out of here. It looks like this. It looks just like that. So it's got all the feet in it. 32 feet. Now this is a bonus low shank so that you can use it on either one of the sewing machines, the new or the old. And my sister has an old sewing machine and it doesn't take the new feet. So she couldn't have used it if it hadn't had the shank, um, the low shank snap on adjuster. And then this comes in your box, which tells you how to open it so that you don't break your little edges. These little tips right here, these little things right here, which are really tricky because once that breaks, you're gonna have to use a rubber band or something on it. You get this book. So this book has got all the different pictures of the feet and everything. And then you either go to the website and you can download and keep it like on your uh, tablet, your Kindle, whatever, all the directions. It's a 15 page, but since she doesn't have a printer, she doesn't have a computer, she only has her telephone, so that would be hard for her to use. I went ahead and printed out the entire booklet. So it's 15 pages and let me see here. So. It gives you a little bit about it, what, how, what all's here, how to work it. Now it's just like a book. So it tells you again how to open it in case you don't get one of these little papers that come in it. It has your table of contents, just like that. Hopefully you can read that. I can't tell if that's focused or not, y'all. Okay. And then it shows you what all's in the box. This way you can compare. Make sure it's all there. If it's not, then of course you're gonna wanna notify them. If they accidentally put two of the same feet in there, then you're not gonna want that. It shows you how to attach the feet to the machine. For those that don't know how, and she will not know how. So it's teaching you about the adapter. I don't know if I should be getting my um, other machine out. Now this is how you normally, I'm gonna show you. This is what most new sewing machines, they have this right here. See that little thing right there? And you put your foot and you just connect it. You snap this down on top of the foot. This is just a little low shank. I believe my machine is a high, so this is a low one. Otherwise, you're gonna change it out and then you can put the adapter on. Now I don't believe this will work with the Tiltomatic machine, which is what I have downstairs. Um, I'm trying to think, I think that was it. Because I did call them before I purchased this, I wanted to make sure that it would work with her old machine. And it will give you the description of the different feet. So for example, this is the zipper foot and it's the invisible zipper foot. And it gives you the directions and everything. And then of course you can use your smartphone on this. And like I said, I believe there's 15 pages. So we're going to pick out a foot and we're gonna test it out and see how well it works. Okay, now I do believe, I don't know the number, let me see if I can find it real quick. Um, it has a quarter inch foot in case you did not get one. Let me show you what that looks like. It is number 10 in here. And maybe you got one in your uh, sewing kit and don't know what it is. Because you didn't get a book with your manual. But his, this is what it looks like. Now see how, let me put my hands a little bit higher, how it looks like it's cut off right here, okay? That's a purpose, that's, that's, there's a reason that it's like that. And we'll use this one and test it right now, this morning. I mean, I'm not gonna go in order 
If you guys got a something you specifically want to look at and review, you can make a comment. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show this one first so we can go ahead and take measurements off of it to see if it really truly works like it says it works. Because I know lots of people are concerned about their quarter inch. On my machine, I can move my needle to the left, but I cannot move my needle to the right. There's a different way to move it. In other words, on my settings, it shows me left needle and I can go up and down and lock it into place or I can go forward and backwards, just like your straight stitch would do. But it doesn't have the capability to do it to the right. So I had to figure out how to do it to the right based on just some samples, just playing around with my machine and everything. You guys might have the same thing and not even realize it, but we'll look at it here in a minute. But like I said, let's try this foot out first. And then if my video is not too long, we'll try another foot out. If y'all want to, I'm going to show you this picture and leave it up there a little bit longer. And this way you can look at the pictures. Hopefully it is available for you to see. I, I really can't tell whether it is focused or not, but you can tell me if you want a specific foot shown. Okay, because maybe you have the opportunity just to buy one foot and that's what you want to do. I'm back right, real so quick because I misspoke. There's actually 29 pages. So when they were taken out of the printer, they were split up. They were taken out with one pile and then another. So sorry about that. I'm going to bring you down here and I'm going to show you the difference between a low and a high shank. So this way you can tell on your machine what you have. I thought that I had a low one, so I must have a low one on another machine, but this is a high one. So we're going to take a comparison here before I put this away and then get the foot on here. Alrighty, there's my machine with the foot. That's the high shank. And I've got my grippers on the smaller shank and I'm going to put it right back here for comparisons because that's what it would look like when it was on the foot. So see the difference of this and that, what they look like. Okay, there we go. So you can see the hole in the front is the one that you would put your screw on. This hole in the back, the little one there in the back, let's make sure you focus. That would be if you wanted to put the bar that comes with the walking foot you could put your bar in there which would have your distance if you wanted to i don't know if you guys all know what i'm talking about if you don't know what i'm talking about put a comment below and then i'll put the bar through there and show you hopefully i'm not too shaky i'm going to show you how without my stitch being chosen i can move my needle to the right or the left you can try this on your machine to see if it works for you also which will help you find that quarter inch if you do not have the foot. All I do is take the width, and if you have a dial, that's fine. You can dial it. I'm going to take my width, and I'm going to lower. And if you saw, my needle just moved to the left a little bit. I went to 3.0. There's further to the left, further to the left, and it just keeps going all the way to the left. That is 0, 0.0. Now, I'm going to put it back to 3.5, which is in the middle. And now if I want to move it to the right, I just do the opposite. I increase it instead of decreasing it millimeters and it moves it to the right. So that right there would help if you can measure on your machine to move your needle. Because sometimes when you sew with your foot that you have and you think it's a quarter of an inch, it looks like your needle needed to go just a little bit to the left. That's what I would do is adjust it with your width on your machine and see if that works. That'll be your quarter inch without a foot, just your regular foot that's on your sewing machine. Alrighty, I'm going to use green thread for the contrast so we can see it. And what I'm doing, I don't want to get too close. I'm using the right hand side of my fabric, just like we were going to sew a quarter of an inch. Now on the foot, remember where I showed you the little dip? There's a big one on the left hand side. There's a little one on the right. That's where you want to put your foot, the little area next to the corner of your fabric. And this is strictly a test. We're gonna try it out. Let me get up a little bit on my thing here. So based on my machine, it's almost as if that left-hand feed dog, the teeth underneath there is not gripping it. And all I'm gonna do is go down here. Hopefully my fabric is pretty straight. I'm just, and I'm doing it the regular stitch, the 2.5. And it's uh, got a really good marking here for top stitching. Let's go ahead and take that out and take a look at it. On my ruler, the yellow line right here is the quarter inch. That's an eighth, that's a quarter. So this yellow line 
is going to go down over top of the green one, which is representing our quarter of an inch. So you put it on here to show a quarter inch from the end of the fabric to, let's, I don't even have it lined up, there we go, to the quarter inch. Just like that, that's a quarter inch. Now, we can do, based on this foot here, an eighth of an inch over if you were going to be doing any kind of top stitching and you wanted a double roll and you didn't have a double needle. But let me show you how to do that because it's based on this foot and the way that I just did it on here. Now the first thing I did, this is the way I sewed it the first time. Now turn it like this, okay, opposite direction. And where this little piece is narrower, that right there is an eighth of an inch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my foot down so that the stitch is on the left of my foot here. And then I'm coming forward. And of course, you know, practice is going to make perfect because first time you do it, it might be off a little bit, but you're going to practice till you get it down right. Okay, let's stop, take it out. Okay, I got it right here on the table. Now remember, the distance for the eighth is this teeny weeny little spot right there. And what we're trying to get is the distance between the first line and the second line. So you put it up here and you line up your line there. And then what you're wanting is the little black line. And I'm gonna have to bring you down here because you're not gonna be able to see it. To go down that row. Let me show you here. There's how you can tell that you have actually sewn one eighth inch. Your seam, let's turn you this way here. You can see it right here on the edge. And then that one there, it's got the little black right here at the very tip, that's your eighth. And then you go down, there's another one right there. And they went on top of the line. So you can do this double stitching, or if you wanted to, you could do a quarter of an inch distance for each of Here's them. another thing I wanna tell you about this. On the foot, you can see that little line and it's raised and this one here on the foot between here and this corner is a quarter of an inch when you're doing your binding and this is the way i do my binding i come down my fabric i'm going to go over here to the sewing machine and show you so i sew along my quarter inch i come down to a fourth of an inch now you can if you don't have a foot, you can mark, go from a quarter inch up and a quarter inch over and put a dot with a pencil or some type of friction pen. Mm -hmm. On this foot, as it comes down, all right, and you're sewing, 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 what you would do is so you're coming down and as soon as you get down to the point on your machine that it's right here on the edge of your machine, I mean your fabric, that's your quarter inch from the fabric. You've already done the quarter inch foot. You would stop and then you would pivot like this and go ahead and sew right off the edge of that fabric. And then you fold this over to do your binding. I know those that know how to do binding understand what I'm saying, but you would actually sew down to the corner here and pivot to come off. Because normally when I pivot and come off, I'll do a couple of back stitches and I'll lock that thread in place, cut that thread, turn this over for my binding and start on this end and go forward. Then you've got that perfect quarter inch on this corner. So that's another feature of this foot. If you're thinking about buying it, you know, you're thinking, well, it's only gonna do a quarter inch, that's it. Well, it'll do the eighth of an inch. It'll also mark it at the end. So it just depends on what you want, but always check it out first. And you may have it in your sewing kit. A lot of sewing machines will come with it nowadays, but maybe if you've got a super duper older machine, you're not gonna have this. Now, I don't Alrighty, so I wanted to say I'm not trying to be negative about the book that came with my machine. It's a really large book. It has a lot of content in it, but a lot of the things I don't find helpful at all or I find confusing. So therefore, I just do a one-on-one -on -one where I'm just uh, playing around with it, trying to figure it out. Okay, that's how I figured out my needle went to the right and the left. And Becca has a really good video on how to figure out how to make your machine do a quarter inch and how you can come up with that. And so all of those that are wondering, 
Am I going to give one of these away? Because I'm pretty sure that's what everybody's thinking about. I would be thinking about if I watch this video. I'd say, is she going to give one of these away? She's showing it. Although she's giving it to her sister, but is she going to give one to us? So the answer to that is yes, I will be giving one of these away. Please let me know which foot you want to see. I do not have to do every one of these feet. All right. Some people are never going to use some of these feet. But if you're interested in learning how to use one, let's say you got it in your sewing machine with your sewing machine, but you have no clue how to use it, or you've watched videos and you're not quite sure, then let me know. I mean, heck, I can do one more video you can look at to see if you can figure it out or not. Okay? Even if I've never made it with the foot, I'll figure it out. I'll do it my way. Maybe that's the way that you need to learn how. Because everybody has, to, has a learning curve when it comes to learning. Not everybody learns the same exact way. Like I said, I'll be giving one of these away. I haven't decided when. Let me know which feet you would like to see. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.